Hello everybody out there on the internet, I'm the Toaster, and today we're going to react to NF, I Just Wanna Know. So continuing, in, continuing on in the NF journey, uh, the thumbnail for the official video looks pretty sad already, so I'm going to assume it's a very emotional song, but as that hints towards, I am doing the official video today. I have closed captions on, so that should hopefully fill in any lyric problems now, I have been requested to do Dreams by NF as my next song. I was told it doesn't really destroy the order or anything. So I'm going to probably do that next and then get on to how, can you, how Could You Leave Us. Now, I know a lot of you want to see me do How Could You Leave Us because it's apparently just a tearjerker. But I think I'll do that just so I can have another video without me crying. Um, but it should come out. Dream should come out tomorrow, and How Could You Leave Us should be the next day. I'll try and pump them out for you guys. Um, I'm excited to get into this. It feels like forever since I've done an F video, even though it was only like two days ago. It always just feels like that. And sorry for the hair. It's a bit messy. I've gotten to the point where I kind of feel like I need a haircut, so that'll be coming soon probably. For now, <laughs> I don't want to talk too long. I'm just going to get straight into it. So I'll pull the video up. Uh, don't need it transparent. I will quickly remove that. Sorry. Should have prepared. All right. And three, two, one. Let's kick it. So some sort of breakup song for now. It showed a little bit of a car crash at the start down over here. So I presume something happens it's further on in the video. I'm not going to spoil it for myself. But um, definitely a breakup song as of now. But due to this little tease at the start, maybe it's going to be a kind of a regret that we broke up and now I've lost you sort of song maybe. I don't know if it's a metaphorical car crash, if it's happened in real life tonight, or or what's happening. We'll get into it a bit. I do pause a lot to explain. Sorry about that. If you don't like it, go to another video. It's just how I do things. But um, so far, it seems like it's just going to be an emotional ride of a song. And I'm going to have to prepare myself for this. You know, he kind of just regrets it. You could, I guess, take it as one of his regrets that he, he's locked up with. I don't think that's what he means, but I'm going to take it like that. Um, you know, he, it's got him fighting in the car with her and arguing. So it's obviously not the most healthy relationship at the moment. Um, and we're going to see how this car crash comes into effect, I presume. But for now, it just seems like he's saying, you know, you didn't pay me attention. You didn't seem to really want to be there with me unless you were venting about your problems and no one else was there to listen. So it just seems like a classic case of bad communication and just not being transparent with your partner sort of thing that, you know, it happens a lot, unfortunately, in relationships. Surprise to me, tell me that I never took the time and now you ain't got the time for me. Yeah. 
Damn. All right. So I'm, as of now, I'm thinking the car crash is metaphorical just because that chorus where it talks about, you know, it just doesn't feel like she's around anymore. You know, she's being cold to him. It feels like he's lost her. So I don't know if it's an actual car crash. We'll keep on watching and figure it out. But as of now, you just kind of feel like he feels betrayed and heartbroken by this. And, you know, he hasn't gone into details of like what the life was like, where whether or not they were arguing a lot or, you know, what was happening. But you can obviously tell that he's just, you know, he feels betrayed almost. It seems kind of like he's been gaslit as well a lot. Um, some of the words he uses just kind of describes, you know, deflecting it and blaming him for stuff. Yeah. We used to talk like best friends. I remember that. I guess I don't know what happened to us. Now you got me questioning what trust is. You told me you would beat it for me, yeah, but you ain't really mean it, did you? Now you want to jump ship. Leave me here alone while I'm used to it. Anybody else did? Who you having fun with? Don't tell me I don't want to know. Every time I ask, I just feel sick. Yeah. Damn, that's just a, such a sad line there where you said, um, everybody else leaves me, like, leaves me alone i'm alone and you know she told him that he was oh she was there for him and you know he's just back to being alone now and he says you know i'm used to it pretty much and it's just you know it's sad to hear that he has to go through all this just drama in his life and all these failed relationships i don't know i'm presuming this is a true story based on something in his life i don't know about the car crash but definitely the breakup i'd say because it's coming it sounds like it's coming from his heart I don't know who I'm looking at, but it ain't you. Now, I like how she, he's kind of basically just left her in a crash for now. I guess he's trying to figure out his own problems. Um, damn, he, he sounds like he's in pain. You know, it's such a nice beat as well going on with it because it's got that like wailing sound in the background of the vocals, but the drumming is also just really high tempo. It feels like a risky sort of situation. And the entire mood is just eerie despite, you know, him spitting hard and aggressive, it feels like. So he's giving me a very mixed range of emotions at the moment. I'm not sure I'm going to feel sad or angry at the situation. really like that marching drum in the background and i think he's extending the chorus i don't remember the chorus being this long in the last chorus so i think this is like a double on like where they do a chorus and another chorus which i really enjoy i love just when they add a second chorus because it really drives home the emotion That hurts to see. It, it's so real as well. I've been in a car crash, but not a bad one. It was everybody was fine. It was just like the car was written off. But you know, you feel that terror in the moment where you don't know what's happening, which is kind of like what's happening in this part here, where he's crawling around, stumbling. He seems a bit confused. Then it all sets in, and you know, he goes to help the girlfriend, and now is like the final stage where, well, maybe not the final stage, but the later stage where you realize what happened and you're trying to rationalize it and you're blaming yourself and you're shivering and you got the jitters, you're shell shocked. It's a really nice dis like description of how a car accident actually looks because 
I think that's pretty accurate. I mean, I don't know if it's done specifically to show you how a car wreck is, but either way, it the video is showing what it's like, you know. The confusion, the regret, the guilt, the, you know, jitters and the blaming yourself. It's really just well done, and I really like this climax they've done with the uh, instruments. Uh, eyes have gotten wet. Didn't cry. Doesn't count as crying if they don't go down my face. Uh, just the song itself is nice. Like it's a beautiful sounding song. It's not what got me to cry. Bro. What got me to cry is just the video because he's acting exactly how somebody would act. You know, you're in the background, kind of shaking. You get the fear of losing her. You get the regret. You get the guilt, and everything about it. His face, his expressions, his actions. It's all just so realistic to like such a tragic situation and they got me kind of absorbed into it. Little smile face in the back. Don't know if that's an actual thing ambulances have or not, actually. I don't think they do here in Australia. Or at least where I live in Australia. I would have noticed a smile face in the back of a pan on an ambulance. Just let it pan out. Watch the video. Wow. Powerful video, really powerful video. The song was great, but I think the highlight of that entire thing for me was the video. It reminded me of, I guess, when you go through like a breakup and you start having, you know, the pain and regret and you start blaming yourself. So I don't know if the car crash is metaphorical because, you know, the relationship feels like a wreck and now, you know, she's dead for her to him and i guess perhaps he's blaming himself he feels guilt and that's why it's showing him you know behaving the way he is where he's you know sitting crouched down so i don't know if it's real like he's depicting an actual car crash or if it's a metaphor for you know his relationship crashing either way it's really powerful song and like you never realize how much you love someone until they die or they leave you know so it's like a wake-up call almost. I think it's a really beautiful song. I think it's a really hard-hitting video. I think the lyrics are really well done because it describes, you know, the pain of a failing relationship. So, you know, he needs some recognition for, for this video, I'd say, because he's he does a lot with his videos. A lot of people say he sounds the same, talks about the same things. I don't really agree with that, honestly, because, you know, he's talked about relationships, he's talked about um, his relationship with his notepad, he's talked about, you know, the car crash, he's talked about his depression, uh, how he feels like he's going to let people down, he's had flexing songs where he just flexes about how good he is, he's had so much variety, so I don't know what that is completely about, maybe we'll figure that out sooner, further on in, but so far he's just got a genuine message, genuine songs, and like really real music that connects with you now this one got me a little bit sad like i was watery eyed not crying doesn't count and that makes me worried for how could you leave us because no one warned me about this song being sad i wasn't told anything about the song but people tell me about how could you leave us so it has to be one of those like really sad ones 
But like I said, I'm doing dreams first because it was requested and it doesn't ruin the flow so I get a little break from the sad stuff. Sorry if you wanted to see me do How Could You Leave Us tomorrow. I'll get to it the day after tomorrow. But, you know, give me this little break to do something like this. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope I didn't annoy you too much on my silly commentary. I was a bit everywhere this video, I admit. I'm a bit tired. I'm recording at 9 p.m. for some reason because I kind of just got distracted all day and I, you know, I'm not going to make excuses. I just didn't have the motivation to record and I kept on saying, eh, I'll do it in 30 minutes. And then I stopped. So, <laughs> my bad. And it's not that I don't like doing the videos. It's just I don't like sitting down and doing nothing, which is why you see me fiddling around with stuff. I just, I like doing things. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed if you did, please like and subscribe. Leave any comments, recommendations, anything down below. You know, if you've had experiences like this, feel free to share them if you're comfortable. If, um, you know, you know that he's actually gone through a car crash and something like this did happen and it's not just a metaphor, please let me know. Because for now, I'm sticking with the fact that it's going to be a metaphor for like a breakup and a relationship crashing and burning and all the stuff I said before that I won't repeat. So let me know. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you later.